Hey, so this is Steve 87th here for the weekend of February 28th. This was Sunday. This is my update for Jack Jack's build. Okay, my kind of midway update. I'm working on the roof. So I've got to cut these pieces. If you notice right here, I am overlapping that a little bit because that's the way it should be. Um, and then I've got to cut those pieces for the rest of that roof. And look what I've done here. I've gone ahead and put in the sides, cut out the doors. I found out how the doors have got to go. Um, I'm waiting for the windows, so that's why that section is all up. But the cool thing is, is this is supposed to be cut at 10 feet anyway. Um, that little overhang on the end is supposed to be there. Okay, so I'm moving right along with that. There's some neat things that are going to go on over here. Um, I got to put some doors there and stuff. Um, and then, of course, I got to finish off doing all this. But I also put it in a center, center port st structure. I decided uh, never mind about those little ones that I had that I'd just do it this way. So that should be fine. So it's coming along. Um, gonna go back to cutting all this stuff and uh, you guys will see the results. Okay, in a bit. here is one big roof. It's all being glued up. I'm not ready to put it down down yet because if I put it down, it's gonna be really hard for me to get in there and cut out these eaves and things like that. So I still need to make it mobile, but I need to get it together because I, I'm running out of time. So I got to get stuff going. Okay. So I would have showed you guys how I did this. I, I, I got to move quicker on this. So, um, yeah, some of my, you're just going to kind of see the results of some of the stuff that I do rather than how I'm doing it. But you can see here, I still got to put in this top section here. I got to get this whole thing done, this whole thing done. Um, doors got to be cut in there and stuff like that. But it was real important to get this roof done. And so in case you guys are wondering, okay, so you see that I've got this foam core board, so that's kind of a paper. And then over here, I've got kind of a cardboard that I'm using um, for the roof sections, right? There's kind of a cardboard layer in there. And so most of my build, um, including the wood, I've been doing with the... Uh, Eileen's original tacky glue and it's really working great. It is tacky so um, it takes a little bit of, of time for it to dry. I'm actually starting to run out of this bottle but um, it gives you a working time but then it sets up really really hard and strong and and does a wonderful job of keeping things together. So um, when you're using sort of the mixed media, if you want to call it that, between, you know, using plastics and paper and other things like that, you should really think about Eileen's rather than sinoacrylic and the CA glue, because this actually gives you some, some time and it actually gives you some holding power as well. Okay. All right. Got the first part of the storage doors up. Got the roof section all done. Still haven't attached the roof officially yet. There's still a few things I want to do. Got the back done. If you guys are wondering where all those black things are, that's where the windows are going to go to. Um, got the back pull-up doors done. And then got all the black on the side slots. Um, and then, yeah, there is a window that goes up there. So... Um, lots of things going on up here. Uh, got a lot done. So we'll be able to put a door in there. I'm probably going to paint the windows that I have and all that. But right now I'm going to paint the doors. So that's what I've got going on so far. All right. So me and my wife were able to go down to the Elma store the other day. Um, it's in actually Elma, Washington, which is at the yard where the Puget Sound and Pacific Railroad's at, which is one of the reasons why I was doing this building, because it's attached to the yard. So also along the yard is their auxiliary building. Um, that's that big white building. The cool thing is, is Walters just came out with a kit for that one. And then another building that I have to make, which is next to their yard too, is the Les Schwab Tire, 
with the tire center and all that. Um, luckily, Lionel just made one of those. So this is a scratch build, but there is a reason why I'm building it and all that. And um, the major reason is this is one of their major portions of the yard. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of history and show you why, why I was doing what I was doing. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. And this is my update for Jack Jack's Build Challenge.